Amy Abdul Karim Jumma'at okay. Mugs is a sight uh, to remember. Being a Mugs built over 200 years ago. Of the history of Zazao. Uh, this time around we are going to look at it from the coming of the Fulani Jihadist. Uh, that is with the emergence uh, of the Sokote Jihad of 1804. That is the Jihad of Sheikh Usman Damfodio. The Jihads that united the entire northern part of Nigeria together. Uh, that is with the establishment of the Sokoto Caliphate with the headquarters at Sokoto, where all the other Hausa states, i.e. Kano, Katsina, etc., became a basal state. Uh, as I've said earlier on, the coming of the Fulani brought about the beginning or the establishment of the Islamic religion as the religion of the people of the entire kingdom of Zazza. Uh, the other aspect of history we saw we saw the history of Zaza when the people of the uh, of the kingdom were uh, worshipping a sword as their deity of worship now having a beautiful marks behind us as our background is indicating now that we are on to the Fulani period that is the coming or the establishment of the Islamic religion in the kingdom of Zazo. Uh, this mosque, as you are seeing, uh, was built by a, uh, a famous person whose name has gone down into the book of history, known as Babangwani Muhammad Durugu. Uh, Muhammad Durugu visited Zaria during the period of the Emir of Zazo Mala Abdul Karim who was the head, who was the founder of the Katsanawa ruling dynasty in Zazo. Mala Abdul Karimu instructed Babangwani to build these mosques. So uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of stories regarding the mis the miseries of building this mosque. Some people were saying that this mosque was built within the blink of an eye but at least looking at it one will know one will see that it has been given a kind of a modern touching but what i'm assuring my audience is when we get into the i mean when we look at it from inside one will know that the old marks built by muhammad durgu is as we can see we are now inside the mosque of Malang Abdul Karimu, the late Emir of Zazo, uh, as part of our visit to seeing uh, historical places in Zazo. Uh, one important area that we are going to start talking about is the stamp that you are seeing behind me up there you will see a kind of uh, hand uh, it's nothing but just the hand of Babangwani Muhammad Durugu who builds this beautiful mosque since around about 1840s uh, it is commonly believed that uh, Muhammad Durugu built mosques in some other areas in northern Nigeria, but Zazo Central Mosque is one of the places that he built. And uh, he built these mosques on the instruction of Malang Abdul Karimu, the founder of the Kasanawa ruling dynasty in Zazo. Uh, Mala Abdul Karimu before this mosque was built he used to go and attend a Friday prayer in Anguan Ianjuma or Anguanjuma Zaria where the Habe mosque was still 
standing by then. But at least after this one is built, religious activities were concentrated here, uh, probably because of its beauty and its proximity from the palace. This so, features we brought to you are the series meant for continuity which focus on other Emirates kingdoms that are open for sponsorship or partnership with us.